This is Catlia Tropical Pointer, which in my opinion is one of the best choices if you want to have a medium-sized Catlia orchid. It is a fast grower, it is a frequent bloomer, and look at those really pretty flowers. Did I mention it is spotted and I just love spotted orchids? This orchid actually takes quite a few boxes. It is tiny enough to be able to fit in pretty much any windowsill or shelf. It is quite forgiving for a Cattleya and has much faster growth than other species. It can produce multiple flowers on top of each mature pseudo bulb. The flowers, well, that's a personal choice, but I think most of you will enjoy the flowers. And also it has a fragrance. Now this is a complex hybrid and if you look on the Orchid Roots website you can see there are quite a few beautiful orchids in its parentage. Main parent with a 50% heritage is the Cattleya Intermedia which is a tall orchid but then we have the Eclandia which is a tinier orchid and I do believe it might actually be responsible for the size of this orchid. This explains why some varieties of this orchid can look a little bit different and not only look but be of a different size. The one that I have I believe is the simple tropical pointer but you have quite a few other varieties such as cheetah and amethysto which look slightly different between them and also the one that I want to point out is the galaxy variety which not only looks different it is orange rather but it's also really tall kind of like the intermedia actually. I did have the galaxy in the past I'm looking for it. I cannot really find it, Sally. I want to have it again. But until then, I am really happy to have the standard version of the Tropical Pointer because it really is a joy to grow. Now about that fragrance, to me it smells a little bit like lilies combined with carnations, which sounds wonderful and trust me, it is wonderful. The fragrance is not overbearing and I actually find it quite mild to moderate. The warmer it is and the more light the circuit receives, the more the fragrance will be noticeable as well. If you're in a room with the circuit, I doubt you're gonna be kicked out. At least this is my experience with my individual, so if you have some issues with fragrance, I don't really think this orchid will give you a hard time, but it is really noticeable if you smell the flower directly. It takes the same care as any other type of cat layout, which you can find a tutorial for down below, but just a few ideas. It likes things warm and hot. It likes bright light, whether it's natural light or artificial light. I grow it under grow lights and it does wonderful. And it's also very, very drought tolerant. So I make sure that no matter the setup that I have it in, I let it dry out thoroughly. This will replenish the air pockets with air and also prolong the life of my organic medium. Obviously, if you have it in an inorganic setup, it doesn't really matter. It is a very versatile plant and as long as you have warmth and light, I don't think you're gonna have issues with this orchid. And that's about it on the Tropical Pointer, one of my favorites. I have always wanted to have this one, no matter the variety, but I am looking for other varieties as well because it is so, so worth having, especially the Galaxy variety. Alrighty guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this spotlight. Let me know what your experience is with your Tropical Pointer. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Bye!